This video is brought to you by Midway USA. Support the channel by choosing Midway for your shooting and outdoor supplies. Stand by. Oh, are you gonna start with shooting? Hell yeah! Ready? Sig! The Schweitzer! Sig! Sig sour! Same! Sig! Not same? But sure! I, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Henry, sure. you told sig. me I should buy a Sig. So I bought a Sig. Yeah, put your sling on. So this is an episode <laughs> of first shots. That means that before this video. We haven't shot this rifle. Well, you shot it seven rounds to make sure the optic was zero. The PLXC has been zeroed. It took seven rounds to get a 50 yard zero. So we're zeroed, uh, but we actually haven't like really run the gun. And this is hardly my first shots with this. True. <laughs> so the first thing I noticed, and Henry already is teasing me about it relentlessly. Um, I use two point slings now. Uh, I didn't used to, I used to run single points. Right. Um, well, that was like 20 teens. True. So I, I run two point slings and I went to sling up on, on this gun. There's a nice little QD cup right here oh, in the rear. Yeah, that's because you, know, you could do two points like this. Oh, oh Touching geez. tips. <laughs> so you can run it like a single Dude. point now. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> but there are um, uh, no, unless I'm a total dummy. Yeah, here, let me help you out, Josh. There's no QD cups up front. Uh, I can't even do that with uh, with my glove saw. <laughs> so, uh, I'm unslung for this video, and my poor little arms will get a workout. Um, hey, Josh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, oh, I did a no-no. Continue. <laughs> shooting some steel without your, your eye <laughs> I did a no-no. Don't, so, do, yeah, don't, so, don't do that. <laughs> So again, I bought, uh, this is a $2,500 rifle that you immediately have to go out and get QD cups for. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, okay, I, whatever. Like, I've got ACs that are like that too. I, I should have... I should have looked before we came to the range. That's you know, my I, Again, I've got HKs that are like that too, that do just fine, but that's small potatoes. How do you think this thing... We've shot another LT on the show, but... No, no, we didn't actually put it on the show yet. Oh, it's not on the show yet, but it's coming. Yeah. I've shot that one mainly. Yeah, so, I shot just a few rounds out of it. Yeah. Enough to know that the stock that comes on it, the little skeleton I said, it's about this long. Trash. Immediately to the garbage. Yes. Um, this is the stock configuration that's on the big spear. Yes. Much better. And this is ridiculous on the big spear because the big spear needs something bigger than this. I also agree. Um, so switch that. Uh, and then also notice that the handguard was moving a ton uh, <laughs> when I did the whole like test to see if it flexes. So got the Arasaka uh, barrel clamp system. Interesting, okay. Allegedly... So it's actually an issue with the flexing. I mean, Arasaka makes a part that's supposed to fix it. Okay, I, so I immediately know. buying it, you need to get QD cups and the Arasaka barrel kit. And the uh, new stock. And the new stock, so three, okay. Look, uh, we're being a little bit facetious about it and dogging it a little bit, but uh, also I ah, don't I don't know that it's sling um, mounts. I don't know that it's completely unfounded, to be honest. And see, look, it's mounted to the barrel, so I don't care if it flexes or not. <laughs> All right, let's see how we could do here at like. Uh, let's see how we do at twenty-five. Go ahead. Oh, it's okay, accurate. Now. Wait. One of the things that I did was I took off the SIG flash hider. Ah, yes. And now you know I had a flash hider that was a the chemo, uh, chemo mount, because I run the chemo suppressor right. system, and it was a mirror of the SIG flash hider, the little three-prong thing. Yeah. But I remember when I was shooting Kevin's, it was really stout. Okay. This is not that. Okay. So I went with the brake, and I don't know how much of this is the brake, or maybe just this gun is... Um, I mean, it was really tight at 25 I, this, right this was also very smooth, and I think that this is brass, too. So this is uh, PMC, so it's not like hot ammo, but it's also not wolf. See, he doesn't have T-Mags yet for the SIG. Um, you wouldn't see it. It's all up inside. But it's like, all up inside. I have 
the old T. I feel the break of. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, that that was pretty good though. I mean, this, yeah, it's pretty tight. Nice. Fast. I'm a slower shooter than Josh. No, it's the power of the Sig Sauer. So how does it? How's the recoil impulse? Slu on it? Sluggish. Not really? not not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. In a Scar 16 way. Hey, are you guys enjoying hanging out on range with us? Well, maybe you'd like to join the Patreon and hop into the private Discord. We'll see you guys there. Let's get back to it. Ah, uh, interesting. Because so, when I was firing it, yeah, it felt sto stout. it felt jumpy. Dude, check, f feel this. Feel and this. you you can you can enjoy das original. Hold on, give me a stock. All right, uh, it's only got like maybe three shots in there, but go go ahead and give it a. Um... Ooh. It... Don't change my stock length. Damn it! <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Ooh. All right, that's actually pretty Smooth, good. Smooth. It's huh? actually yeah, with with the enhancements that you've made, especially the break, like that. That's nice. Yeah, I mean this is too. <laughs> um, this one to me feels more like a scar. That feels more like a nail. And that to me felt more like roller delayed ah. than, uh, the, yeah. But it is adjustable gas. I have it tuned low right now. I could switch it up. Ah. But you have a suppressor setting on yours, right? I think that this isn't even suppressor. If I remember correctly, so I, now, okay, correct us in the comments. Again, first shots, noobs with this gun. Yeah. Uh, I remember this being only standard and adverse. Okay. Not so it's suppress. just like, it's sig sig standard adverse. That's it. All right. Let's see. Uh, now there's a lot of talk. I adjusted your stock. In one. Yeah. There's a lot of talk out there about this gun's trigger not being uh, like a full. It's like a. It, it's not a full like match two stage trigger. It's just sort of like a combat two-stage or something along those there's lines. No, first of all, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I agree. Um, I also think that it seems It seems fine, fine to me. I mean, Let me see about... Uh, I'm going to send a rip on the 10-yard uh, the paper here. Sure. I regret standing in this position very, very much. Next time you get the outside, and I will be on that side. I mean, That's that pretty was pretty good. I, the cadence seemed pretty fast. Yeah. Definitely not slow, right? No, not slow, no. what you feel between these now the the original sig how many rounds do i have in here uh, oh, okay, plenty no. plenty you see you don't have to remove it you can look on the side and you'll be able to see but the the sig's trigger look at may, this wind you may not you may not be used to the the sig's trigger it's a the two stage the european two stage trigger so, so a mushy two stage it's not mushy it's <laughs> not <laughs> Continue. All right. What do you want me to do here? Just a, a little burst? Yeah. Just just contrast it with how how you felt with that one. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. We still all all in the zone still. Yeah. Did this? I'm riding the recoil more. Yeah. And I'm letting it come back and settle. With that, I was just I was just hammering. Yeah. This, the break makes a huge difference between the stock form. 
It's man, it's just one of those. Let me see like, if this like cycles. I want to see if this cycles with wolves. You uh, you can step back if you want. What? You can step back if you want, so you don't get. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna zip I'm, up a little bit. I'm gonna see if it if it cycles with wolf here. Okay. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, nope. Yeah, okay, so Wolf is on the... a giant flame that was coming out. Wolf is on the under gas side with this, apparently. Yeah, so Wolf is no go, it would appear. Maybe, I don't know if this is in, which setting this is in. It was in whatever it came from the factory in. I was debating if I should go grab a suppressor and just see. Go! All right, while he's getting the suppressor, I can shoot a little bit with the SIG. That's original SIG. Ooh, a little sluggish on this ammo. This is PPU that I'm running now. I actually like it in the adverse mode for this because it's it's running the full length rifles gas plug. I need a short uh, 551 short barrel gas plug ideally. If you're running 556 spec ammo, it's fine. But if you're running like a not 556 spec ammo, this one seems to be a little bit more sluggish. All right, my turn again. Go ahead. I'm out, so. Hey, I want to see if Wolf works with the addition of the back pressure of the camp. I'm assuming it's Is going to. Is that Wolf to. Gold? Uh, no, well, I have one round of PMC on the top. Uh. It's now not ejecting towards me. Still didn't lock open, It didn't though. lock open, though. So still on the low side. <laughs> All right, I'm happy. I'm happy. It was a good purchase, Henry. So in spite of the in spite of the lack of QD cups. So look, the SCAR, yes, technically you could buy it out of the box, it would work, but at the same time, it doesn't come with the rail on the SCAR. Oh, definitely right? true. So this is, that's a great point. Both this gun, yeah, well, I'm talking about it like this, like the alternative, i.e. the SCAR, yeah. is, uh, and by alternative, I mean a foldy boy, yeah, not AR, sure. AR. Uh, I'm talking about it as if it uh, it comes good to go, but it doesn't. I still make changes to the scar. I change the trigger, mm -hmm. I change the grip, I change the rail system. Whereas on this, I changed the, I added the barrel, uh, whatever, the handguard uh, retainer thingy mabob from Arasaka, and I switched the stock. So yes, and the muzzle device. So yes, we have not found a, $3,000 gun that just works when you get it. Well, okay, so I... I actually, when you stepped back, I ran some PPU through this and it was a little sluggish. I threw it on the adverse mode. I would love to get your reaction to this one because this is actually how it's supposed to recoil because it runs a gas, a rifle-length gas plug in it. Press... The left side up. Go ahead. feels 
it's a little snappier on the recoil, but it's I actually like the impulse. It's yeah. more responsive. That's a good way to say it. Yes, hot gun. Yep. Yeah, I I need to get the the uh, the gas plug that's supposed for the short barrel. I mean, I'm shooting doubles at 25 with the suppressed gun. It's, I mean, that's pretty good. That's good. So, we ready to close it out? Let's do it. Now, the real thing, Henry, the accuracy test. Uh -huh. Let's go crank on this barrel and see how we do. Oh, okay. See you guys in the next one. See you guys. Tap one six is Joe Knight six four six eight packs red con one green to green top copy over. Joe Knight six this is tap one six Roger over. One six Joe Knight one one pack green green over. Tap one six Roger over. One six Joe Knight two one big two two packs red con one over.